I've been intrigued by the, the idea of the law of unintended consequences for a long time. What first got me hooked on it was a story I read about these little plastic whistles that were packed inside Cap'n Crunch cereal boxes in the, in the early 70s. Uh, you know, the, the whole idea was to get the kid to ask mom, gee, get me the Cap'n Crunch cereal so I can have the, the plastic toy whistle. Well, it turns out if you blew that whistle into your telephone, it would it would switch you into the AT&T long lines, long distance uh, telephone dialing system and bypass the billing system. So blow the whistle, make as many free uh, long distance telephone calls as you want. So that's obviously not what Quaker Oats had in mind uh, when they put this little novelty item uh, inside, inside the cereal box and obviously Ma Bell uh, was not at all pleased with that. But uh, Getting back to more of a, of a business uh, context for for the law of unintended consequences. One of the one of our longtime customers. We, we are in the habit of setting uh, one key objective for each six month period. And about a year and a half ago, the six month objective that was set was to reduce the sell cycle by ten days over the over the next six month period. So we get toward the end of the six month period, and I'm looking at the data, uh, and we have successfully taken. Uh, the sell cycle for this customer to 78 days from 67 days. Uh, so we went, I mean, we went about 16% uh, in the wrong direction. You know, uh oh, uh, how are we going to go back now and, and maintain our credibility with this customer? Let's scramble and look at some look at some other data. Look for some unintended consequences uh, is what I'm what I'm getting at. Uh, and we found that the close rate had gone from 52% up to 58%. So we could say, yeah, you know, look, it's taken us a little bit or uh, longer to close all these deals, but we had a 6% differential in the, in the number we're closing, so that's a good thing. Um, the other thing we looked at was the uh, the number of opportunities for the for all of the reps in the company, the total number of opportunities that were progressing through the sales funnel, and I forget the exact numbers, but we we had we got it up from 380 or 385 something like that up to a little over 500. I think it was 512, 513 opportunities. So yeah, it's taken us a little longer. Uh, the bad news, but the good news is we're working on more opportunities, and each of those opportunities is a is a third bigger. That's and then you know, all. All of that was kind of scrambling, uh, kind of nice. Uh, then we then we really hit the pot of gold, uh, and it weren't. I, I wish I could say I was looking for it. I mean, really, was just trying to do anything I could to come up with some numbers uh, that kept us uh, kept us from looking bad. And what we found is we reduced the days to lose an opportunity from 181 days down to 76 days. Dramatic, dramatic change in the amount of time spent. Uh, on an opportunity that wasn't going anywhere anyway. Uh, so in effect, the math is a little bit convoluted, but if you look across the reps in that particular company, in effect what it did was give them 16 additional selling days per year. We had such an intense focus on getting all the garbage opportunities out of the funnel as quickly as possible that it just freed up all kinds of time to work on the opportunities that uh, that were remaining uh, and I, I just love the way I love the way my client reacted to it I'll, I'll never forget it I threw that 16 days of extra selling time per year and he did the, he did a calculation in his own mind he said you mean that in effect I now have 13 months every year uh, to sell my products and services, and all my poor dumb competitors are still stuck uh, with the old-fashioned uh, 12 months year, uh, 12 month year. And, and being the articulate professional I am, I said, "Yep, you got it, man." Uh, so, so very much unintended consequences. I think the lesson in all this, the moral to this story, is uh, it's really a great idea to to take a laser beam focus for a period of six months on just one of your key sales metrics, and just work work the daylights out of improving that. Um, and, and like in this example, even if you lose, uh, you wind up winning.